returning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. Right now at 6 o'clock, Decision 2018, the first and maybe the last debate for all three Republican gubernatorial primary candidates. Mayor Alan Fung answering criticism that he's dodging debates, including one next week here on NBC10. Well, today's face-off was on a smaller radio station. The iTunes Parker Gavigan reports now he's back with Reaction Parker. Gene Emily, some fireworks in the debate today, some jabs at each other, but mainly the focus was on Governor Gina Raimondo. Again, the big debate coming up at 12 noon. This is the John DePietro Show. Eat. With supporters outside the debate stage, elbow room only at WNRI Radio in Woonsocket. It is time to begin. Conservative talk show host John DePietro asking the questions of the three Republicans running to be Rhode Island's next governor. Representative Patricia Morgan proposing to cut waste and fraud at the State House. I have a backbone. I'm not afraid to stand up to the corruption that is up there. I see those insider deals all the time. Mayor Alan Fung points to his deficit-busting approach that's created a business-friendly climate in Cranston. We need a leader from day one that's been in government that's ready to take charge and shake up that state house, and I am that person. And businessman Giovanni Ferrosi, former CEO of jewelry juggernaut Alex Anani. He's touting his success in the boardroom and on the battlefield with the U.S. Army. They just not even close to being qualified as I am as a decision maker. They just don't have it in their experience and in their background. There's nothing. When I made decisions, they had consequences. People died, okay? Let's be serious here. Republican-friendly topics shifted from truck tolls to the DOT to the failure of UHIP, the state's social service computer system. The radio debate was a first and last for fun. I will do more debates once the primaries are over. My focus is on making sure we turn our state around. His opponents pounced. He should be there. He should be willing to stand up for his record, to answer questions about the scandals in his city. I don't think it is right for you to not be part of debates. It's just not. And other notable moments today, Rep. Morgan wouldn't commit to supporting the nominee, and Ferrosi says the Pawsox deal for Pawtucket isn't dead. He'd get it done, he says, if elected. The primary rapidly approaching Wednesday, September 12th. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Parker Gavigan, NBC10 News.